Alrighty, welcome back everyone. It is Laughing Games here. I'm back. And it is time for another StarCraft II Probots cast. Getting back into the swing of things, doing these somewhat regularly, and I honestly just saw the names of these bots, and I, I think it's going to be a really, really entertaining one. As we've got a bot called Chaos Bot playing Terran in the top left, so I assume this is already going to be a little bit chaotic. And taking on Chaos Bot is a bot I'm excited to see how it works. Queen Bot. So we've got two bots that I've never seen before. The names might give you an idea of how they're going to play, but we're just going to have to wait and see how this is going to go. Looks like Chaos Bot is already starting off with a very dirty proxy barracks. Uh, pretty, uh, pretty much looking like a standard ladder game here. Except not really, based on how these uh, workers are behaving a little bit. Gotta have that optimal mining. And then another SCV moving across the map for Chaos Bot. I wonder if it's gonna build a second barracks, or will this SCV be for a bunker? That would be that would be interesting, that's for sure, Chaos Bot. If it does just decide to throw up a bunker with this SCV as soon as possible. Uh, the SCV is moving into the bot, into the base of Queen Bot. And then getting chased around by a drone, but yeah, this barracks is going to finish up on the front lines right away. And it's just going to build a bunker right outside of Queenbot's base. I really like a strategy like this, because this could completely cause a hiccup for basically any bot. Like, if your bot has interesting, has a certain response program to, say, aggression, it might go overkill. Or it might simply just not be able to bypass the bunker, completely alter its strategy. So I really like this from Chaos Bot. Now, that being said, since this game got started off pretty darn quickly, make sure to go ahead and hit that like button, ladies and gentlemen. Let's try and hit uh, 50 likes on this video if we can do that. I promise you I will do at least another bot cast. And uh, if you do enjoy the content on the channel, make sure to subscribe, hit the bell icon, join the bell gang, and leave a comment in the description down below to help us win against the YouTube bot. Uh, the YouTube algorithm, but yeah, it looks like, oh my gosh, we've got a planetary fortress on the way <laughs> from Chaos Potter, what I assume is going to be a planetary fortress, as there's an engineering bay on the way for Chaos Bot. An engineering bay against a Zerg. Queen Bot has now seen this bunker, is going to be reacting a little bit, a little bit late to this. Uh, I mean, it's doing its thing, though, already starting to produce queens. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's going to be mass queens against, or presumably mass queens, against a planetary fortress rush bot. Which is interesting against a zerg. Because obviously you can't really land the PF onto the zerg's creep. And so, yeah, this is going to make things really quite interesting. We'll see where this planetary is going to go. It's going to move forward, but obviously it's going to be limited by how close it can get to the Zerg hatchery. Looks like a factory is now on the way back at home for Chaos Bot. So that really is quite curious. But yeah, the fact that Chaos Bot is trying to float the PF over, but then obviously it can't land it, is, is something, that's for sure. Queen's moving forward towards uh, this bunker engaging it. Oh, looks like they might actually overcommit their one queen fades out of existence, and there goes the other one. Uh, yeah. That's no that's no good for Queen Bot, as the two queens that Queen Bot had have perished. Another one just finished up. So presumably, that queen count's gonna start building up again. We've even got plus one missile attack on the way, so the queens will deal more damage. Not that they deal a lot of damage. But, uh, you know, it, it is what it is. Uh, the main thing that I'm noticing from Queen Bot right now is the fact that the Queens aren't really pulling back to try and use that transfuse ability. I wonder if that's because of how much it's got to build up or, or what. It does look like Chaos Bot is, is going to be getting the lead so far in this game as the <laughs> command center is just floating home. The fact that it built a CC, got an eBay, so it could start presumably a planetary fortress and then kind of just abandon ship really is something. One of these queens trying to run towards that third base, she makes it, interestingly enough. Although this one marine might pick her off. Oh no, I think another queen's gonna die. May she rest in peace, as three queens are still being produced. A lot of drones on the way for Queen Bot. Um, yeah, and this is just the classic bot blunder in which, like, they don't recognize a threat, 
don't all don't alter their behavior and thus we've seen 16 drones rally to their death this scv is just topping up the bunker every time it takes damage and so based off the behavior we've seen from queenbot uh queenbot's gonna be in a lot of trouble as yeah obviously it's just gonna keep doing this it would appear i mean if the bot's really being hindered we see carapace now on the way so that the units will be more tanky we see i mean this third base slowly being saturated with drones just any that rally from the main or the natural are dying but i mean drones are still finishing up at the third base itself they can attempt at a fourth base it does start up for queen bot so queen bot just taking more hatcheries building uh, increasing queen production no surprise there and so queen bot's kind of trying to branch out but it's really got, it's really got this roadblock in its way and uh this bunker is just worth its weight in gold for Chaos Pod. This command center's floating back. We see a random starport proxied out on the map. Another command center going up for Chaos Pod. This bot is very, very aptly named as turrets are now going up in the main base. So who knows? Maybe it wasn't even planned to build a planetary fortress, but I, I still doubt that as the PF floating back here. Queen's moving forward. They shoot that one Marine. But as we see, this bunker just not going down. The Queens are stepping forward this time, actually going to be working away on that SCV. Killing off that SCV would be the first step to this, but the SCV is still alive. Another SCV comes forward, leading to more potential repair there. And all the Queens are dying for Queenbot as, yeah, it's a hard life for Queenbot apparently. And Queenbot really is an interesting bot here, as despite this hiccup, that it so clearly needs to react. The behavior of this bot is just set so straightforward. It's just keep expanding, keep spamming out queens. And that's exactly what queen bot is doing right now. But oh no, a planetary fortress is gonna be built between the natural and the third. This queen, she's on a mission, I think, to kill that SCV. Does she get it? Yes, she does before the bunker finishes her off. A mule actually got dropped by chaos bot at the random base. <laughs> of queen bot oh my god i don't even know what to say this game is nuts there's one marine working away on this hatchery the poor queen's just being, just being ruined by this bunker as how many queens have died let's take a guess I'm, i want to say 18 17 holy cow i was close uh make that 18 as the planetary fortress finishes up it's gonna get a lot harder for the running of the drones as the pf now in setting them ablaze um, all the while, a Liberator's on the way for Chaos Bot. Uh, Queens are actually good against Liberators, though, but Queens are not good against Bunkers with Marines in Planetary Fortress. Um, more Hatchery is on the way, though, as Queen Bot continues to do its expand thing. Um, yeah. Queen Bot just, just doing its thing. Uh, five Queens on... on on the way at a time. Eventually, who knows, maybe Queen Bot will consolidate its queens and then just have endless amounts of transfuse, which, done by a bot, the queens probably will never die, but... Uh... Yeah. More hatcheries on the way. It's literally... It's... It's... Looks like such... Like, I know that all these bots obviously look like bots, but is there anything more body than just to continue on your regular behavior? Just acting like nothing's wrong. It's like, yep, just just expand, just expand. Liberator harassment and with a bunch of SCVs underneath it. Oh no, drones have to be pulled to attack these SCVs, although they're not having a lot of success. And this Liberator with a bunch of SCVs huddled underneath it is a very interesting tactic. I don't know how on what sort of what sort of mechanism was used for those SCVs, but like, yeah, follow the Liberator, that sounds good but now they are being attacked by drones. This game is just ridiculous. A battle cruiser's on the way. Lord knows how Queenbot's gonna deal with that, but then again, Queenbot very well may be unkillable, like Hydra, just every base that dies, we may just see it secure up another. I bet it's gonna take this one soon, too. I'm really trying to keep up to this game, guys, but this is just ridiculous as Chaosbot is uh, taking these other locations. Built one orbital, hasn't made any other orbitals, Starts high sec auto tracking. Why not? Maybe the PF can reach a hatchery, although doubtful. Uh, another queen coming forward, working away on SCVs. So it does seem there is some SCV targeting priority on Queen Bot. However, it's just it's just very difficult to program that effectively. And now there's a battle cruiser, which is going to get repaired. So this BC is never going to die. And I think the hope for Queen Bot in order to come back in this game, despite building eight queens at a time, is just not there. As, uh, 
yeah. It just, it just really got hard countered by by Chaos Bot, preventing Queen Bot from getting a foothold. But imagine this bot performing when it doesn't have when it doesn't have a planetary fortress outside of its base. I mean, it is targeting down those SCVs decently. Uh, more and more queens are being produced. It's just how many resources have been lost? Ten thousand minerals, basically, of queens. Thirty-nine dead queens. Oh my gosh, this is this is such a great bot game, and it's like. Yeah, Queen Bot's, Queen Bot's in a bit of trouble, but <laughs> it's still worth watching this. As Queen Bot slowly continuing on the March of the Queens. Uh, yeah, that Queen, she goes down. The SCV is just doing their dance. The so Widowmine even going to join into the fray. As Queen Bot still just taking more bases, building more Queens. An interesting thing for Queen Bot, I wonder, would be eventually to maybe get a macro hatcheries, like... If you really want to go hard on the queen thing, say you are getting contained or something, like if you're unable to successfully secure up an expansion for like the first minute or two, maybe throw up a macro hatchery, just start producing queens out of that. Mm, yeah, this is uh, this is some hunt. I'm pretty sure queen bots dundies as there's a tank fighting a queen. The queen micro behavior is really interesting, by the way. You can never see such a slight jolt there. Uh, five, six queens show up here, though. We're trying to get to this battle cruiser. The numbers are starting to shoot up for the queens, but there is too many BCs. The SCVs are being worked on. The hatchery is in trouble. More and more queens coming forward. I would so love to see this bot in another game, and I 100% will cast another game of this bot because when it's not cheesed out like this, I really, really want to want to know what it looks like, a bot that builds just queens. Unfortunately, it appears the spawning pool died, so no more queens for queen bot, which is quite a predicament. At least there is behavior program, though, to rebuild that spawning pool, but that's just gonna die. Um, so yeah, queen bot can now make nothing but drones and spawning pool. This was something. This 100% was something. As a chaos bot, yeah. I, I mean, chaos bot could have could have its own uh, its own video entirely. Just just of all the stuff this bot's been doing, just build more factories, more turrets randomly. Like, yeah, twelve minute twelve minutes seems seems like a good time to build a turret onto uh, onto a natural base. At, at least it transfers SCVs. But as I say that, it's because it's floating over one of its command centers. <laughs> where's it going? Um, where's it going, guy? Uh. I don't know. I don't know. Chaos Bot is so aptly named. This is ridiculous. It's getting plus one while melee or uh, marine attack, uh, bio upgrades, when building three battle cruisers and two armories at a time. Okay. Um, yeah. Good job, Chaos Bot. Seems to work, though, against Queen Bot. Poor, poor Queen Bot. Just uh, bugging out a little bit. Try trying to secure up a spawning pool that it really likes this spot, but the pool party's been cancelled by Chaos Bot which has lost 30 SCVs, 10 marines, and a widow mine, as opposed to 200 drones, 64 queens, and two spawning pools. Uh, yeah, th this is something, though. I, I think Queen Bot may very well be one of my favorite bots. And Chaos Bot, this is just great. This is just fantastic. Drilling claws, ship weapons, even a nuke on the way. Oh my god. How do you, how do you even go about programming something like this? You're just like, do you just put in a bunch of strategies and be like, yeah, just randomly pick this and that, and why not? And I mean, that is a valid way to play StarCraft in the sense, just the kitchen sink approach, just throw everything, like you can neglect other aspects and do things that make no sense as long as you're just consistent in your throwing of, I'll say, stuff at your opponent. Uh, Queen Bot wants to rebuild the base, but yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, make sure to leave a like on this video, subscribe to the channel, Join the Discord, which is linked down below. Uh, leave a comment, whether it be gibberish or just, I don't know. <laughs> Chaos is a ladder. I don't know. Something in the description, but then, uh, yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks so much for tuning on in. Bye-bye.